hello you're welcome back to my channel so if you're new be thanks for stopping by and please consider subscribing and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back so today i'll be showing you simple tricks to go about your pleatings if you notice pleatings are getting back you know you can use it for a skirt you know for a dress or you can inculcate it in any part of your fabric so i'll be using this fabric and you need a lot of pins for this project okay so before you start pleating you need to do your hemming first so for the length of the skirt i use about 26 inches plus 2 inches for hemming and your waist measurement has to be multiplied by 3 okay so my waist measurement is 33 and so i have to multiply this by 3 so we have 99 inches as my waist measurement and then i'll be adding one inch for for zip allowance now the one inch will be on both sides so i'll have um seam allowance i mean zipper allowance on each end of this length of the skirt okay so that's me marking out the zipper allowance and when i'm done with that i will need to mark the waist now this is the simple trick okay so i'll just place my tape rule starting from the zipper allowance that line that i drew and then i'll place my tape rule there and take it all the way to the other edge of the of the length okay okay now this is the width the width of this fabric so i'm just marking one one inch one inch be careful because at this point if you want to mark the one inch one after the other like shifting it you'll be having less of what you should have so this is it i've marked it to the end okay so the simple trick about this pleating is that whatever is your waist measurement you have you must have exactly that number of plates okay so remember we multiply it by three and i'll be using one on one inch pleat so arranging this well after the zipper allowance line i'll pick the next one inch okay and make the next one inch my midpoint and place it on the third one inch i hope you understand now remember i marked this one inch you know one inch one 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 inch all through to the other end i did it on the waistline and the hem as well okay that's why you can see me do it pleat it on the waistline and i'm doing it on the hem now okay so this is where your pins comes in you you do this you pleat it and then you pin them so i'm doing it again just for us to have a proper understanding what i mean so we are making three one inch okay three one inch for each pleat so that's the second pleat i'm doing and after that i'll pick the next one inch and then place it on the third one inch hope you understand so that's it taking it to the third one inch pin it down and then you do the same thing to the hem so this is what i'll be doing all the way to the other edge until i have 33 pleats okay so it's as simple as abc but if if you don't know this trick it might be difficult for you okay now i like to use this method because i want my pleat to be very coordinated and you know uniformed all the way to the uh, to the end okay all around my waist that's where the beauty comes out proper Okay, so I'll have to do the remaining pleat off camera because it will take a long while. Okay, but this is just the idea which I'll use to go about all the pleats. So when I'm done with pleating it, I will trade it down. I'll take it to the machine, trade it down and give it a good praise. So here I'm trying to show you how it will look on the right side because this part is colorful. This fabric is very colorful. So I didn't want to do the pleat on this part so we'll be able to see the markings proper. So I'm done ironing it and I traded that waist allowance to remove the pins. You do this before you remove the pins, okay? So to be sure you won't have your work scattered. And after 
you know, after ironing it, you have to ensure that you have your waist measurement. So I've measured and I have my 33 inches as my waist measurement. So the next thing, I'll just sew out the zipper allowance that I added. Okay, and I'll be using this band. The band is measured my waist measurement plus 2 inches as allowance. Okay, so after sewing out the zipper allowance, you lose that part of the zipper insert your zipper and the next thing i'll just use my band to sew it all around the waist and when you're done with that our skirt is ready so this is a very simple one i would like you to try it. this for my beginners okay just try it and let let me know how you went about this if this trick was helpful leave a comment for me in the comment section okay so this is a final look of our skirt and if it adds any value to you at all please leave a comment give me a like and share thank you